In the conversations I've had here in Europe, uh, including among some of my Arab friends, they've made it very clear that nobody stands with Hamas and what they've done. And so there's a great deal of sympathy, I think, right now for the people of Israel and, quite frankly, the people of Gaza because of this terrible, uh, inhumane attack that Hamas uh, has inflicted upon so many people, so much suffering. So I think it's important for us to reflect upon that. And it also means that there's an opportunity to build a coalition to push back against that form of, uh, of violent terrorism. Lots of attention on what is happening in Gaza and concern for ordinary Palestinians who were caught up in this terrible conflict and also concern as to what is happening in Lebanon with Hezbollah and the possibilities of finding a broader conflict in the future. The Israelis are deeply concerned that there will be an escalation on their northern border with Hezbollah and that they will then have to contend with Iranian-backed forces fighting from Syria also, which will significantly expand the number of rockets and missiles that strike Israel. Pero la comunidad internacional tiene que estar en este momento con Israel ante este ataque brutal. Y necesitamos todos tener un mensaje absolutamente coherente de condena al terrorismo de Hamas. Por eso, nuestra solidaridad y nuestro mensaje hacia el pueblo de Israel se mantiene firme. Y también la invitación a que acompañemos al pueblo de Israel en la defensa de su integridad, de su territorio, de su gente, dentro de los límites del derecho internacional. Si se spreads a Lebanon, esto sería un major conflict que podría quickly engulf the entire Middle East. Y so la prioridad para los policy makers es mantener este conflicto to one entre Hamas y Israel.